Saturday came pretty quick. That was the view from the hotel, Mahanga. Uh, we had a two and a half hour drive to work, so it was, we got there a little bit late, but smiles on the face. Uh, we were hanging floor beams pretty much all day because that was a critical path of the schedule. Uh, there you can see the first few that were hung up. We roped them from the bottom, pulled them up, got them hooked onto the suspenders. We actually couldn't erect the first few that are in the middle because we would have to pull them apart too far to reach the suspenders. So we left the middle ones out, which we would erect later. Uh, they were short enough to do that when we were out on the bridge. Uh, here's a quick time lapse. You can see them being launched out. They were pulling them from the shore, but eventually that got quite impossible. So we had to throw the ropes to the other side so the other team could help pull. We got about halfway out uh, that day, uh, or halfway to where we needed to be, which was pretty good progress. Uh, on Monday, we would come back and erect the last two. Um, that was the uh, Ron having some rest after work because everybody was pretty tired. This is a cool local bike I found. There was a person that made these bikes in the village. I wanted to try it. I was scared of breaking it, and I certainly was not uh, adept at riding it. It was very difficult, but I'll tell you what, those kids made it look really easy. Uh, you can see he just gets on and starts going for it. It's quite impressive. There's no way I could have ever done that. Uh, here's the walk up the, the hill, a uh, little pig we saw, uh, which were all over the place. Beautiful sunsets, lots of smiles, time to go relax on a Saturday. This kid was an Olympic runner, basically. He followed us barefoot up the hill for two miles almost every day. Uh, it was just really unbelievable. Uh, and there they go. And there we go, back to the hotel to rest for the weekend.